Hi dear students, I am Dr. Mashur. Welcome to my class. Today I would like to give an introduction about research. In this we can see what is the definition of research and we can see what are the objectives of a objective of a research and we can see what is the motivation of a research and we can see the what are the phases that is involved in a research. First we can see the definition of research. There are different uh, definitions. Is there further research, term research? One definition is research is a scientific and systematic search for pertinent information on a specific topic. That means this research is a is a scientific and a systematic study or systematic search for a for an important information on a specific topic. Okay, this is our explanation. That means is a scientific and systematic search for a pertinent information on a specific topic. Okay, and another one uh, explanation or definition is that is a careful investigation or inquiry through search for new facts in any branch of uh, knowledge. Okay, is the careful investigation or inquiry through search for a new facts. Okay, the here. Uh, the, the definition, uh, this uh, definition, this explain that is the research is a careful investigation and inquiry for a new facts. Okay, that is the research. And another one uh, explain definition for the research is that is a systematic effort to gain new knowledge. Okay, is not a not uh, is a systematic effort to gain new knowledge. That is the other one definition of research okay is will be uh, this effort will be systematic to get new knowledge that is research if this effort is systematic systematic then only it will be called as a research uh, research okay otherwise it will not be a research you can simply take effort to take new knowledge that will be considered as a research but your effort should be then systematic then only it will be called as a research and another one explanation or definition for the research is that is the movement from the known to the unknown. Okay, is the movement to the known to the unknown. That is the unknown research definition of research. So we will start from the known, then we will find out the unknown. Okay, these are the uh, definitions of research. One is the one, uh, one definition is the is a scientific and systematic search for a pertinent information on a specific topic and another reason is a careful investigation or inquiry especially to search for a new facts in a, any branch of knowledge and another one definition is a it is a systematized effort to gain new knowledge and another one is a is a movement from the known to unknown these are the uh, some of uh, definition that is given to the research Next, uh, we can see what are the objectives of a research. What are the objectives of a research? The purpose of a research is to discover answer to question, answer to question through the application of scientific procedures. Okay, the objective of research is a, the purpose of the research is to discover answer to question. Okay, this research is used to discover answer to the question through the application of scientific procedure okay here we are using scientific procedures to find out the, to find out the answer to some questions that is the one objective of research and another the main object of aim the aim, main aim of research is to find out the truth which is hidden and which has not been discovered yet and the main aim of research is to find out the truth which is hidden and which has not been discovered yet okay that hidden truth is not discovered yet for that uh, find out this uh, truth uh, hidden truth uh, will do the research and though each research study has its own specific function, purpose okay if you are doing any research 
if anybody is doing your research and there should be a specific that should be done for a specific purpose okay these are the objectives of research and now you can see what are the motivations in research okay if you are doing something there's, there should be some motivation behind that so everyone did not do the research then what make people to undertake research okay why the people are taking research okay there should be some motivation behind the undertaking research first one decide to get a research degree along with it consequential benefits okay somebody will get, like to get a research degree like mp or phd so you have to do research okay if you are doing phd or phil you will get some service benefit and job benefits apart from that uh, you will get some other benefits also you will get uh, okay uh, if you are doing phd uh, then you will be accepted for the net exam conducted by ugc so some people are doing phd phd to get exemption for the net national degree test that is conducted by ugc and that is uh, essential for applying teaching course in universities and colleges so that's what was uh, uh, candidates will be students will be do phd and uh, somebody is working in any institute or whatever then they, if they want to get promotion or they will get uh, some other some other elements that time they will do phd or research so they will get some consequential consequential benefit and another one uh, motivation is that decide to face the challenges in solving the unsolved problem okay in our life uh, there should be some problem will be that should be that not be unsolved because uh, some reason we have to find out that that time we will do the research okay and some people do it to get intellectual joy of doing some creative work okay some people are the, they will do research to find out some new things so if you are getting the new things they will get the happiness or joy in their life so that's why they will do the research and and another one group is that they have decided to be service to society okay some people are the they will do uh, research to service the society okay we know some uh, research group also either they are working for so many uh, products to uh, serve the society like we know some uh, now we are facing a pandemic that in so many around 110 companies or such institutions were uh, trying to develop a vaccine so some some companies also even some institute also so some some persons uh, aim is to serve the society to buy through this uh, development of vaccine and some other companies or somebody will be developing this vaccine to get monetary benefit okay and and fifth one fifth one the motivation is a decide to get to respectability okay in society if you have any research degree or if you are working anywhere then if you are research degree or like doctoral degree anywhere you will get some respect from others okay or somebody will tell he is the doctor he have a doctoral degree so some other colleagues or other people were respecting you so some people like that type of respect so they will do phd or research to get respect from others okay these are the motivations of motivations behind our research that that make people to undertake research first one is a desire to get research degree along with its consequential benefit okay and second one is desire to face the challenge in solving the unsolved problem okay. and third one desire to get intellectual joy of doing some creative work they will get joy or happiness by doing research and somebody is the for the desire to, to be of service to society they want to serve the society through research they want to find something and they have, that will be helpful for the society 
and another one motivation is the desire to get respectability. Some people do research to get respect from others. These are the motivations behind and the research. And now we can see what are the phases or major phases of research. And the first phase is that we have to find a research question or research problem. Okay? We have to get a research questions and research problem. In getting research questions or research problem, there are some other work we have to do and that we will discuss in our detail in our coming classes. And after that, if you, if you decide or get a research problem or such question, okay, you have to go for background or observation. Okay, what are the studies already done in this field? You have to study in the background or observe, observe background studies. Okay, and other one is that you have to formulate the hypothesis. You have to formulate the hypothesis. Okay, hypothesis. Uh, for example, if you are saying diabetics and insulin is related, okay? You are saying diabetes and insulin, are you, you are saying, for example, you are saying, what is hypothesis? You are saying there is a relationship between insulin and diabetes, okay? There will be some of chance of insulin and diabetes and diabetes may be uh, due to the insulin problem okay so that that will be your hypothesis you are not sure about this insulin and diabetes is related and insulin production will affect the uh, diabetes and or insulin production is uh, affect the diabetes and then your hypothesis is insulin and diabetes is related okay and to prove that your hypothesis, okay, insulin and diabetes are the relation, to prove that hypothesis, you will design experiment, okay, you will design an experiment. And after that, you have to test your hypothesis. That means if increased production of insulin will affect the diabetes and decreased production of insulin will affect the diabetes. To prove that, you have to do go for a laboratory experiment and you have to get a correct data okay and you will get the after your lab experiment you will get a correct data and in this within this data you have to interpret this your result okay you have to interpret your result after interpreting you find that there is no relation between between insulin and diabetes okay your hypothesis is insulin and the diabetes is, is related okay and after doing this lab your hypothesis and you are doing lab experiment and you are getting so many data and result okay after getting this result and data you will interpret your result and after interpreting you are find that there is no relationship between insulin and diabetes then you have to go to uh, third one, uh, that formulate you are going to, you are to uh, change your hypothesis. Okay, you have to change your hypothesis, or you have to go to find new research problem. Okay, okay, and if your hypothesis is correct, that means you are inter after interpretation and analysis of research, you find that insulin and diabetic is related, then you have to go for publishing your findings okay you have to go to publish your findings okay after we uh, publish if you are doing an research and your hypothesis is correct and after your research is correct and after completion of research you have to publish your work okay you have published your work if you are not publishing your research work that won't be counted on your account okay if you are not publishing any research that won't be counted on your account. If it should be counted on your account, you have to publish your work. That is the final phase of this research. First, we have to find a research question or research problem. And second, we have to see the background of that uh, research 
problem because uh, background means already done work you have to find out and after that you have to formulate a hypothesis okay hypothesis that will not be at all sometimes it will become true or it will be false okay after that uh, test of uh, experiment only we can say this hypothesis is correct or not and you have to like, formulate a hypothesis to uh, like that we told that the relation between insulin and diabetic okay uh, to uh, for, uh, test the hypothesis we have to design experiment okay in that lab we have to design experiments okay we have to design practicals or surveys we have to do then we will go for the in the test hypothesis test hypothesis in one way you can see say that uh, laboratory experiment and collect another collect that we can take survey about this okay and after that in the lab experiment and after collecting data we will get result okay in the from that uh, result and data we will interpret this result interpret this research and we will analyze the result and from that we will get a finding uh, we will uh, we'll conclude the research and in that conclusion we can see our hypothesis is correct that means insulin is related to uh, is related to or diabetes is related to insulin like that we can say okay that is the interpretation and we can also say that insulin and diabetic is not has no relation that also interpretation interpretation if our hypothesis is incorrect we have to go to form a new hypothesis or we have to find a new research problem okay if our interpretation is correct and our hypothesis is correct if insulin is related to diabetic and we have to publish this result then only it will be counted in your account or this is an introduction about this uh, research and we will in the next class we will discuss each part of the research and uh, will be given i uh, will give detailed class on research i hope you understood this uh, introduction to research part and uh, thank you